Hello and welcome to this AlphaCam tips and tricks video. In this video, we're going to show you edit Z point by point to create a toolpath on a slope. Question. I'm creating a countertop with a built-in drain board. Is there a way to create a toolpath on a slope so that the water can drain? The answer is yes. It's called edit Z point by point. This command will be used after the geometries have been created and the proper toolpaths have been applied in a 2D orientation. For this example, I'll create a worktop with 2D geometries to represent the drainage grooves and apply toolpaths with a fixed Z depth. While running a solid simulation, note that the drain area is currently at the same Z depth. Activate the machine ribbon bar and select Edit Machining and the Edit Z point by point command from the ribbon. After selecting the toolpath, notice the start and end point nodes that are visible as seen below. Either one of these nodes can be selected or you can manually enter the X and Y coordinates of the location to edit the Z point on the tool path. In this example, I'll select the far left or start point node. After selecting the start point node, the prompt bar will show the current Z value that was used when creating the tool path for this location. Edit the value to be less than the current value used and select OK. Notice in the wireframe 3D view how the toolpath starts at one depth and gradually slopes to the original final depth of the toolpath. While you run a solid simulation, you can see the slope in the groove of the drainer to allow water to drain from the worktop. We hope you found this tip helpful as you continue to use AlphaCam. Happy programming!